After the Middle Kingdom died with Subagneferu, Egypt entered the Second Intermediate Period. The 13th Dynasty was much weaker than the 12th, and as such was not able to hold on to a united Egypt. During Subagneferu's reign or sometime during the 13th Dynasty, an independent 14th Dynasty rose up in the Nile Delta region. Meanwhile, the 13th Dynasty ruled Upper and Middle Egypt from Memphis. The 13th Dynasty was founded by Sobekhotep. Some Egyptologists think he was the son of Amenemhat IV. Some think he was a much later pharaoh of the 13th Dynasty instead of the founder. His successor, Sonbef, was possibly his brother, who was followed by Nerekar, Amenemhat V, and Amenikemau, who built a pyramid in Dasher, which was rediscovered in 1957. But curiously enough, archaeologists announced in 2017 the discovery of a second pyramid attributed to him, leaving them puzzled as to why he had two. He was followed by his son, Hotep Piber, who was followed by his brother or uncle, Yufni, followed by Amenemhat VI and Semenkar Nemnuni, who may have usurped the throne, followed by Sehete Piber, Sewek Sektawi, Sewajakar I, Najemibur, Sobekhotep II, Renseneb, and Hor I, whose nearly intact tomb was discovered in 1894 with a rare life-size wooden statue, one of the best preserved wooden statues to survive from antiquity. His tomb was a shaft built on the northeast corner of the pyramid of Amenemhat III in Dasher. He was followed by his sons Kaba and Jekeperu, possibly followed by Sebke, although some hypothesize that Sebke is actually the name of two pharaohs, Seb and his son K, and after the 2014 discovery of a tomb of a previously unknown king named Senemke, some think it's just a misspelling of that king. He was followed by Sejefikar and Wegaf and Kenjer, who is primarily known from his pyramid complex excavated in 1929. It is the only pyramid known to have been built in the 13th dynasty. He was followed by Imeremasha and Intef IV, who may have had his throne usurped by Seth Meribur, his successor, who was probably not a royal. He was followed by Sopekhotep III, the first pharaoh of a group of 13th dynasty pharaohs who left behind many historical records, seals, and monuments which may point to the fact that these pharaohs reigned in a period of relative stability in Egypt. He was followed by Neferhotep I. He likely ruled in a decade of prosperity for Egypt. His relationship to his predecessor is unclear. He was of non-royal blood and may have usurped the throne. Towards the end of his reign, he appointed his brother, Sekathor, as co-regent, but he died before Neferhotep, so he never ruled independently, and his other brother, Sobekhotep, may have been appointed co-regent who survived Neferhotep. Sobekhotep IV was one of the more powerful rulers of the 13th dynasty and the most well-attested to pharaoh of the Second Intermediate Period, with many monuments and statues attesting to his rule. He was followed by Sobekhotep V and Sobekhotep VI and Waherber Abiyayu, and Mernifer, the longest reigning king of the 13th dynasty, ruling for over 23 years. By the end of his reign, organized governance of Egypt had completely collapsed. Even so, he was followed by his son and a number of other pharaohs who have been lost to time but may have included the following. Meanwhile, from the Nile Delta, the 14th dynasty pharaohs, who were probably Canaanite in origin, ruled an independent kingdom in Lower Egypt. Nehesi had a short reign of less than a year, but even still, he is the most well-attested to pharaoh of the 14th dynasty. After his death, the 14th dynasty had a number of pharaohs with short reigns, many of which have been lost to time until around 1650 BC when the Hyksos established the 15th dynasty. The Hyksos were the first foreign rulers of Egypt, possibly of Canaanite origin, and although some believe they established their dynasty through conquest of the Delta region, their reign may have come about more gradually as the Egyptian state began to deteriorate. Canaanite settlers in the Delta region probably took the opportunity to succeed and rule independently. An independent Theban kingdom, the 16th dynasty, may have popped up and eventually been overtaken by the Hyksos, or may have been vassals of the Hyksos reigning under them. At the height of the Hyksos' power was Kayan, a well-attested to king who appears on objects which made it as far as Crete and the Hittite Empire, signaling the wide diplomatic relationships he had during his reign. Although he had named his son as successor upon his death, Apepi usurped the throne, and at the start of his reign wielded power and influence across all of Egypt, although technically still only pharaoh of Lower Egypt. Eventually, the 17th dynasty gained control of Upper Egypt, and Apepi traded peacefully with them.
He was followed by Camudi, who was ultimately defeated by Amos I from Upper Egypt, who reigned over a united Egypt. But before we get to Amos I, let's talk about his predecessor pharaohs of the 17th dynasty, who ruled Upper Egypt. Rahotep, the first king of the 17th dynasty, ruled Upper Egypt as far north as Abydos. He reigned shortly after the collapse of the Theban 16th dynasty. He boasted of his temple restorations. He was followed by Sobekemsaf I, who also made extensive restorations to a temple, followed by Sobekemsaf II, Intep V, and Intep VI, one of the most well-attested to and powerful rulers of the 17th dynasty who restored many damaged temples and otherwise had extensive building projects, which although he is said to have only ruled for three years, it is likely he ruled many more as his name is on many monuments and his extensive building projects would have needed more than three years to accomplish. He was followed by Intef VII and Amos and Tao who led military campaigns against the Hyksos and he may have died from one such campaign as his mummy shows a brutal head wound. His son Camos continued the military initiatives against the Hyksos, and after his death, his mother as regent continued the military campaigns, culminating in Camos's brother, Amos I, finally conquering and reuniting Egypt, founding the 18th dynasty and the new kingdom.